Hey, how are you guys? Last week I made a magnetic chalkboard. If you didn't see this video and you're gonna follow along with the project, definitely check that video out. It's pretty simple, it's basically chalk paint on steel, but there are a few tips and tricks that you'll get in the video that will help you with the project. Today I'm going to make a frame for the chalkboard and I'm going to make the frame out of two by four material. And the first step is to make the molding out of the two by four. I'm gonna use a table saw and it's basically a series of cuts on the table saw with the blade at different angles. It's pretty simple. Let's take a look at the drawing first and then we'll go ahead and get started. This is what the molding will look like and the first step is to cut a quarter of an inch off each side of the two by four and that will remove the round over. Before I get started on the table saw, I wanted to talk a little bit about selecting your two by fours. Take the extra time and look down your two by fours and try to avoid any boards that are very warped or crooked. You just that it'll save you time in the shop if you take a little extra time when you're picking your material. Also, try not to buy boards that are very wet because as they dry, they're more likely to warp and bend. To make these a little bit easier to run through the table saw, I'm gonna use the miter saw and cut them to a rough length first. Now I'm ready to make the rabbit joint and the first step is to make this cut here. I'll set the fence at 3 8 of an inch plus the eighth inch kerf of the blade and that will make a half inch rabbit. Once I've made this cut on all the boards, then I'll flip the board and make this cut. I've lowered the blade and set the fence at three quarters of an inch. I'll turn the board on its end and make this cut next, removing the material. The next step is to make a place for the chalk to rest. So I'm going to cut a three degree angle on the inside of the frame and that way the chalk will roll into the chalkboard as opposed to falling off the frame. And to do that, I'll set the fence at two and 15 sixteenths, raise the blade and set the angle of the blade at three degrees. The last cut on the table saw is to raise the blade and set the angle of the blade at 10 degrees and set the fence at an inch and an eighth and that will make this cut right here. Once I finished making all of the molding, I cut a miter on one side of the molding. And the opening for the chalkboard, or the chalkboard measures 24 by 36 inches, so I'm gonna make the opening an eighth of an inch bigger. And what I like to do, because you're dealing with an inside measurement, is I'll cut a stick an eighth of an inch bigger. So this is 24 and one eighth of an inch. And I'll hold the stick at the inside of the miter, and then mark a line at the edge of the stick. Next, I'll use a combination square and transfer that mark to the outside of the molding. Then I'll change the angle of the blade to the opposite 45 and line up the mark with the saw kerf in my sacrificial fence.
Okay, well that's as far as I'm going to get today. Tune in next time where I'll show you how to make a really cool burnt wood shellac finish. As soon as I have that video up, I'll have a link in the description. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. To keep up with projects on a daily basis, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For a behind-the-scenes look at projects and in-depth Q&As, visit my Patreon page where I post weekly vlogs.